Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So I just wanted to look at the kerned fonts feature in Design Space quickly. So kerning is when your fonts are spaced the way that they're meant to be. So if it's a cursive font, it will type in the cursive manner in which it's meant to and if it's a different kind of font then again it will space your letters in the manner in which the font was created. So if we open up a text box and we open up our font box you can see here that when we've got Cricut fonts selected we've got the kerned option. So when it's ticked it's showing us fonts that are kerned and when it's not it's showing us all the Cricut fonts. We're going to turn the kerning on and you can see here that we've got lots of fonts that can be kerned. If, if we change to system fonts we don't have the kerning option. Now it will kern quite a few of your system fonts but it won't kern all of them so it will be hit and miss as to how they type out most of them now design space is kerning as they are meant to but not always so just bear that in mind when you're searching for a font if you know that that font is in either your Cricut fonts or a system font and it's not showing up just uncheck your kerned box because if you're searching and the kerned is on, if that font is not kernable, then it won't show up in your search. As always, with any font that is overlapping, even if it's a kerned font and you've not ungrouped it, it will still need welding. So if I change this one to a pen, you can see here where it overlaps. So even if you've not ungrouped it, if it's a kerned font and it's a scripted font so that your letters are overlapping each other, you will still need to weld it. In the next video, I'll be showing you how you work with scripted fonts that are not available to be kerned. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.